and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm playing again with this silicon oil from Montmartre. Um, I bought this at my local Uncle Bill's and uh, just want to see what it's like when applied to the top of a swipe. I'm going to do a swipe with no silicon in it and then I'm going to do um, a, a, a nifty little trick with a meat tray actually. <laughs> Not done this before, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while and uh, so I thought well this might be a good time to play. So we've got burnt sienna. Oh, this vermilion orange is not doing its thing. It's blue, blubby. And then we've got grass green. Very earthy colours in this one today. And then I'm going to, and none of, as I say, none of these colours have got any silicon in them. And then I'm just going to use plain Reeves White. Mix all of these are mixed with Floetrol and water, as is my norm. And I have this is an old laminated sign that I made. Oops, I still got cell tape sticking over the edge. That's not going to make it a nice smooth even thing I thought well you know laminated things tend to be quite even so I'm just going to drop that down into the paint and drag it across And I'm just going to tip both ways just to get it to run off. Ooh, getting swirlies. Now, we have had some kind of vaguely flow troll looking cells show up. And that's cool. We're good with small little vague thoughts of cells, aren't we? How many of you got into acrylic pouring for vague little waffly looking cells like that? <laughs> I know I didn't. So, let's see what we can do. So what I've got here, let me make some space. Hold on. Let's put the paint over on this side. And move you over here to see what I'm doing. And I've got this mat. This is a silicon hot matty type thing that you buy for the kitchen to, 
protect your benches. Sort of. And then what I've got is one of these meat trays. That's a really big plane coming in. We don't get them that big normally. How's it getting any better? Um, so this is what our meat comes in here in New Zealand. It is a number one recyclable plastic. So this is what we get them in. And they tend to come in either black or clear. And as you can see on the bottom, they've got funky, funky, kind of hold the blood type wedges. And I was thinking about this because this is about the right size for the canvas. But then I was thinking about this one because it's got funky little things and they're a little bit more bobbly. They kind of are a little more uneven. Not quite as perfectly flat as these ones. So I'm going to go with this one. And what I'm going to do is grab my silicone bottle and smear it around a bit with really dirty hands. I don't want dirty hands in this. Uh, here we go. This will do. I just want a small amount of silicon across this. Just so it's just enough so that when I dip the tray onto it and just kind of smushy it around so that we get silicon on all of them. Is anyone starting to get a hint of what I'm going to do now? Yeah, I'm trying to create a different reality with chameleon cells. So let's see what happens. I'm going to get down low so that I can... Where should I go? I think I'm going to go on the end here. Not very flat. Just want to touch. I don't want to... I didn't want to do that. That's okay. Let's see what we get. Well, we're definitely getting funky, that's for sure. So let's get a tissue and smear the paint around a little bit. Try and clean that off a little bit. thing is these are designed to hold blood in the tray or juices so I'm gonna get another good wipe on that Now I'm going to actually use the paint that's on there to try and add to that bit. <laughs> what do you reckon it'll work? Created something. Well, we definitely got an impression. It's not perfectly flat, so I'm not perfectly happy with it. <laughs> what do you guys reckon? We definitely got the shape of the plastic. And we definitely got some sort of bleedy type thing happening. But, yep, you guessed it. 
I'm not excited about that. <laughs> so let's just um, well, silicon's there and coming through. Well, I think my experiment worked. I think the silicon is doing its job. But I don't think I like it. So... can I do now you know what I'm getting a sense of getting a sense of a string pull because of what we've got going on already what I'm getting the awareness of is copper if my copper is willing to play the game that's very thick highly recommend keeping a little squeeze bottle of water with your paint and so if they are a bit thick you can just squeeze them in and um, give it a bit of a swirl I'm just laying down a line of copper. And I'm just going to dip this. This is a piece of wool. Now we've got silicon on here, so it's doing weird things, but that's okay. I'm good with weird. It's a bit like me. <laughs> now I haven't done this, seen this done before either. So I'm gonna. It may have been done. If you've seen it done before, let me know. Okay. So I've got a double layer of wool. And then I'm gonna dip that in the white down the end here. And drag it back through. Not the best one ever, but definitely funky. 
And with that copper in there. Nope, I don't like it. don't like it don't throw it away that's my point of view You play her around until you do. <laughs> I've got my hose pipe so I don't get my head in your way. Oh. What do you think about that? Get a lot more. I think I'm not getting my song right. That's okay. So this is just some of my spring house paint from Bunnings. Let's tilt that way. I drop my stick with other colours in it <laughs> into the I think the army is doing touch and goes at our sweet little domestic airport I had somebody ask me the other day in a comment um, about why I'd done something to start with when I was just going to undo it by doing the next thing I did. <laughs> Guys, I never know what I'm doing. <laughs> if you know what you're doing and you get it right every time when it comes to this type of painting, um, you need a medal or something. Because paint is so odd. I just put paint in my mouth. How gross. not liking this either
I still have paint in my mouth. It's interesting, would be one way of describing it. Not my ba not my idea of fabulous though. I need more green in that. And before I do the last tilt, just another quick bring up any Wow, that was the long way around. What do you reckon? I think I like it. Not a fan of this bit over here. Hey, okay. you know what? Another quick attack of the... Butane torch. Do not put your butane torch in paint, it ruins them. I quite like it. I quite like it indeed, considering it's brown and green. <laughs> I wonder, oh, I think there's a bit of copper still sitting in there. leave it at that and I would say that that silicon's done a good job there's quite a bit of silicon in there now but it's definitely done a good job keeps playing with you which is always handy if it's me because very rarely do I get it right first time <laughs> so let me wash my hands and get you down and show you a close-up okay so those silicon cells that we did last and haven't tilted have definitely grown look at that it does do a weird wonky thing I'm not this is the second one it's done that weird square 
thing. So, and remember this is Montmartre silicon and I'm using the Reeves um, paint mixed with flow troll and water like I normally do. Quite like it. Quite like it indeed. Very natural colours. You know guys, if at first you don't succeed, keep choosing, keep creating until it's no longer fun for you. How does it get better than this, okay? How many times did I restart? Well, not completely restart, but kind of. Alright. I'm a little bit over this. I'm not going to play with the making cabochons in the dirt underneath. Um, what I am going to do though is see you very shortly in about three seconds with the dry result of this. See how it comes out. Three, two, one. Ta-da! It dried. Odd that. They tend to do that eventually. <laughs> if you do it right. I don't know what you'd have to do for it not to dry, to be honest. But anyway, there we go. It's dried. And um, <sighs> you guys, if you have a colour that you don't like, don't do acrylic pouring. Because eventually there's going to be paintings <laughs> that you go, I really like that. Even though it's brown, or even though it's green, or even though it's pink. Those were my three dislike colours. And I have had paintings in all of those colours. This one's two of them put together. Look at this. That looks so cool. It actually looks like a um, either an elephant with its ears up in the ear. And its trunk hanging over the top of something. Or it's a kiwi, it's big long bill, and it's big eye. Look at that eye! Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's so cool. I enjoyed this painting. I did a lot of playing with paint in this painting, and it's one of the things I actually really enjoy when things don't work and you just keep playing and then it comes out as something that you really didn't imagine in the first place because as you guys know this is not what my target was in the first place but hey it's funky it's cool and uh, I like it so I hope you guys had fun with me uh, if you did hit the subscribe button the the thumbs up button all those sorts of buttons that you know I'm supposed to tell you to hit doing <laughs> YouTube and uh, if you'd like to come play with me on the live streams um, I usually do two a month one at the middle of the month and one at the end of the month so jump on and sign up on this newsletter it is definitely just for those of you that are Wanting to hear when I go live because I don't send anything else out. <laughs> um, but yeah, come join me, come play, and uh, I would love to have you join me for that live. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do, what to really, really do. Anyway, tomorrow's video is going to be the dry version of the latest live, plus also. Um, what I did with the leftover paint that was left when you guys all left home so <laughs> when you left home that's funny anyway I look forward to sharing that with you and I will see you again super super soon bye bye